In this lecture, we shall solve a problem, very small problem actually. This is about the circuit and the circuit delivers an energy of 30 watts and the current carried by the circuit is 10 amperes. We have to find uh, the energy carried by each coulomb of charge present in the circuit, right? So if you want to find the coulombs, we have to find the dq and q, right? So let's go for the solution. The solution goes like this. We all know that voltage is the ratio of power and current, right? Power and current. So the power given in the problem is 30 watts. The current is 10 amperes. So the voltage we get is 3 volts. Right. So please don't forget the small formulas like this. It will be very useful for you during uh, competitive exams. And you all know that V voltage is nothing but the work done by a charge DQ. Right. We don't know what is DW work done. And we don't know what is dq all we know is the value of voltage but you know the formula for current so current is nothing but dq charge rate of change of charge with respect to time but dt time is not given so you can take it as one second right so what is dq now dq is now i and dt so I given in the problem as 10 amperes. So 10 into 1, we get 10 coulomb of charge. Right. We still don't know what is the value of dW. So we can apply this to the voltage formula. V is nothing but work done by charge. Right. So 3 is equal to the unknown dW by 10. So that gives you 30 joules of energy right so this is the overall energy carried by the circuit we need to find the energy carried by each coulomb of charge right so that is given in the problem each coulomb of charge that is what we have to find it is the question asked so we have 10 coulombs of charge already so energy stored in or by each coulomb of charge is nothing but 30 divided by 10. So the total energy divided by the number of charges available, it is 3 joules, right? So I'll just make some corrections here. Energy stored by each coulomb of charge, right? So please don't forget small, small formulas like this. Right, P is nothing but the work done and divided by the time taken, right? It will be very useful during your exams or competitive exams, right? Please pause on your comments and thanks for watching.